So we're back, everybody. Hey, everybody. Today we're playing Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, to you guys, this is an uninterrupted experience, but for us, it's been about about a month. <laughs> it's been a really long been time. been about a month. Just life, life hit us in the face. I changed schedules at work, so now I work mornings. I'm Have no you... longer a grave walker. Have you seen all this before? I don't remember it. In all honesty, when you were when you were taking a fire poop, I was just kind of watching like the the gameplay that plays mm -hmm. during it, and I I remember the characters, but like the specifics of the game are lost on me. Oh, this is Ugh. Such a good game. Yeah, it's grunty. Grunty? Yeah. Clever. Are you gonna know we're just gonna let it go by? Okay. I mean, are you hitting A or is that just really how fast the dialogue's going? It's just how fast the dialogue's going. Wow. It's snappy and quick. You want my coffee? Huh? Oh, you want your coffee? Yeah. Hey. What are we drinking today, Micah? Uh, I think this is a New Zealand dark roast. Oh, cool. I think is what it was. Uh, I, I enjoy it. I, I, I like it. That's just me. Oh god, it's Tootie. Yeah, that's your, that's our sister. She's your sister? Yeah, Tootie's our sister. Oh. She's your younger sister. You didn't... Do you think that was Banjo's girlfriend? No. Micah, you no, have the look that... I was just fucking with you. You have the look that's like, I think oh, that I was... Oh, I thought that was the girlfriend. I thought that was They're Banjo's... They're the same species, of course they're dating. You thought that that was Banjo's lowly girlfriend, didn't mm. you? Isn't there another one that's like his girlfriend-ish character? No, that's like Donkey Kong and stuff. Is that what uh, Donkey with Kong Candy is? Kong. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. No, no you know what game? I always got this game confused with, uh... Oh, I love the fucking mall. Balls. Oh, God. Yeah. yeah, you remember this way better than I do. Uh, no. I, I always got this game confused with uh, Crash Bandicoot. Not characters, but gameplay. Really? Well, like, like I, I, obviously, I know the characters uh, yeah. are different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, gameplay-wise, I always thought that uh, this was just Crash Bandicoot. I think just because I was more familiar with Crash Bandicoot mm -hmm. than I was with Banjo-Kazooie. I, I really miss... Wake up! No. <laughs> they don't have to do that. They have their own voices this time. <laughs> Fine. I, I really miss the days of, like, Rare making good games. Rare... Rare was a very rare circumstance. Uh, uh, no, yeah, their games were phenomenal back in the day. Was he just doing the hell over? <laughs> what is he doing? He's pointing over there. What is he doing? He doesn't have fingers. <laughs> He's just... I'm gonna blur that. Yeah, maybe. I'm gonna blur, okay. the, blur them all. Okay. <laughs> um... Yeah, ever since... I love how, like, everything's alive, too. Like, the the broom is alive. Mm. He's got the bird in his backpack. Oh, there's a ruckus going on outside. Honestly, if I'm totally honest, Banjo's, like, the most worthless character in this ship, in this entire game. Really? I, I, it's really funny to say it out loud because, you know, it's called Banjo-Kazooie. Yeah. But... You don't use him to attack. Really, you don't use him to move at all. Kazooie does everything. Yeah, because it's all the bird, right? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much everything is Kazooie in this game, and I love Kazooie. Yeah, because isn't like... Uh, She's just snappy you can, and You mean. can do the, um... Can you do the thing where, like, the bird walks for you? The talent truck. Oh, hey, I'm actually playing. Oh, hey, yeah, you're playing now. Oh, boy, I can set down my coffee. Oh, I was, missed uh, this game so much. Yeah, you were... Oh, I, I wanted to look it up really quick because I had to... Uh, release date was 1998. So this was just on the cusp of N64. You can't see his fucking pupils. It just looks like he has white and Yeah, it's just like... Glazed over eyes. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, Banjo-Kazooie has a 4.5 out of 5. Oh, that's weird. I, I, was just, I just wanted to check the release date. I can't I, remember when it came out. I don't know. So I was it, six. Yeah. I was six when this came out. I don't know what it ranks on like the most sold or anything for the N64, but me personally, this isn't like my top five favorite N64. I mean, I can look it up if you want me to, if you're curious. Um, I remember. Uh, well, I mean, why, 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 why don't you tell the audience where you found this? Uh, so we start. My we started helping my parents redo their garage. And uh, my dad just found a box of all my old games, and this was in there with 
We have Banjo Tooie, which I'd be down to play that too after this. Uh, and then we have, uh, I found my copy of Jet Force Gemini and a handful of other little ones. But uh, it was, it was kind of cool. It was like being reunited with an old friend. So this is my original cartridge that I played when I was a kid. And we even have my best save file on here that will kick into the dirt and make eat white dog turds because it's gonna suck so bad compared to this. Oh, like my Kirby, yeah. like my Kirby <laughs> one. Oh, that was too good. Plot development reception. Oh my! Oh, oh god! How long has that been doing? I don't know. What? Just the dialogue? Or was the dialogue frozen because you weren't hitting A? Was a critical and commercial success selling more than 1.8 million copies in the U.S. And more than 400,000 to Japan. 1.8 million copies sold. Uh. Yeah, wow. Who said that? Whoa, that was an IGN review. That's really silly. Uh, it's just a quote. More complex, more fluid, and more attractive game than its plumber predecessor, Super Mario 64. <laughs> I, I mean, it's... I mean, if we're standing the test of time... It's not wrong. It looks cleaner. Yeah. It does. definitely looks cleaner than Mario 64. I would say that Mario 64 is a better game overall, though, but... Okay, just yeah, so it, it sold very well. It sold very well for the time. And really, that's well for even nowadays. That's, oh, God damn it. That's over right. 2 million copies sold. I mean, I got to imagine that's still pretty decent. Um, oh, God damn it. What do you have to do? Um, we're going through the tutorial, and I didn't mean to do that. I was just talking to you, and I didn't realize that I selected tutorial. Yeah. Well, you know what? There's a lot of people who might be watching this web employee. Yeah. You you understand it a lot better than I do because you were telling me like about like jump things that you had to do differently. So yeah. it's it's not the worst thing to show everybody. And we're kind of just warming back into it. I just love the mole. Oh God, what was his name? Bottles. Is it because his glasses are made out of bottles? Probably. That yeah, makes sense. Oh man. It actually does look a little bit cleaner than 64. Yeah, then uh, they redid it for the Xbox Xbox Arcade. Oh yeah, you're telling me that they, they redid it. I know I got the rare action replay. Here, keep practicing. Oh, well, it's almost like you know how to do it. It's like I've done this before or something. <laughs> How much did you play this as a kid? Because you were saying this is like your a top lot. five, right? Yeah. So any screw-ups are 100% of your fault? Yeah, then, you know, I haven't touched one of these controllers in... Actually, yeah, that's fair. The weird uh, WN64 controller. Then uh, it doesn't let you do certain <sighs> commands until you go talk to the molehills now. Really? Yeah, so I didn't realize that. It's probably what this one is. Oh, is he has to like tell you how to do a technique? Yeah. yeah. So it's just, just, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll, go, I'll go quick. It's like the whole, uh, the game doesn't want you to go there yet, so you can't go there yet. Yep. But then the game tells you you can go there, so now you're allowed to go there. Pretty much. Well, I guess for a tutorial that makes sense, but. While well, underwater. All right. Okay. Oh, it's inverted. That's why. Underwater is inverted? Yeah. That's weird. And you're collecting honeycombs? Yes, the honeycomb is what gives you uh, health. So once I get a whole thing, I'm going to get another one. Another health bar? Yeah. Or a health number? Another another honeycomb. Gotcha. On my, my thing there. Uh, yeah, and I mean, but I, I play this game so much. Now, you wouldn't define this game as a platformer, right? This is more uh, of like a... It's a 3D platformer. Kind of in that vein. Yeah. Can you see that right there? Is that a key? No, you see that? That's a secret. Learn something new every day. That's a one-up, guys. Oh, uh, wait, what is it? It's a little banjo trophy. Oh, that's funny. So is Banjo a bear? Yeah. Because it was a bird. 
No. I thought Kazooie was a rat. Well, you're asking a stupid rat questions wings. like his banjo a bear. So. I thought it was just a rat with wings and a beak. It's the weirdest rat I've ever seen. <laughs> now, I can't remember if it's in... Oh, man. In this one or if it's in Banjo 2? I totally didn't listen to him. What did he teach me? Oh, my God. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. <sighs> you weren't paying attention. Nope. Okay. Thanks. He just told you to go in the tree? Yep. Uh, so, Banjo can... Well, it doesn't really matter. What? I'll, I'll show you in a minute. I haven't learned it yet. So oh, of it. course. The beak attack? Yeah. The beak attack. Wasn't that the thing you were telling me about the jumping? No, that's. I think that's a different one. Like the beak attack makes it so you can jump higher. So you gotta do that. Oh. He's like a woodpecker, but for dirt. Yeah. <laughs> Of course, it's in the last one. Always. Why does everything have eyeballs in this game? Because everything's alive. Do you, so you just murdered four innocent dirt monsters? Yeah. Okay. I, I remember that about the camera being kind of sticky like that. Do Was you have to control it with Z? No. Uh, it's all in the C sticks. In certain areas, you know, you won't be able to move at all. And then you can't just adjust it. It'll, uh... Oh, that's weird. It kind of, like, gums up. It, no, no, it just, it ticks over. It doesn't slide. Oh. So that you can't get that, yeah. It's not fluid. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha Just try it, model boy. It's a carrot? Yep. Yeah. There's Topper. Go whack him. Okay, you will literally never use this move in the entire game. The punching? Yeah. Just because it's easier to peck them? Yeah. Still haven't learned it yet. Yeah, it's, it's gonna teach me now. Okay. No, it's not. Ah. Roll by running and pressing B. Oh my gosh, you are just like destroying these vegetables. Wait, how do you roll? You didn't even roll. Yeah. Oh, you can roll attack. Yeah. Uh, the rat -a -tat rap. What is the rat -a -tat rap? This is the only move I will ever use to attack ever because it's the only one that makes sense. So that's literally, uh, it'll be this and that. No, you'll never. You'll never flail? No. It, like, even the animation looks doofy. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, why did that just remind me of, uh, was, like, the, the standoff with uh, the Yogi Bear guy? Oh, I think that fucking Ian sent us. Yeah, that was so funny. It was just like a, it was like a story of like the guy that did the voice of Yogi Bear being in a standoff with the cops, and well, like I don't, I don't think that was true though. I don't think it was true. I don't know. I didn't look into it. I just laughed and I moved on. Yeah. But it was just like he was in a standoff with the cops and he was doing like the Yogi Bear voice to like the police on the phone and everybody was just confused. Oh god, that just made me giggle. Okay, there's... You, you got a giant cauliflower flying at you. That's okay. Cauliflower inbound, Eric. <sighs> I can't remember where the last honeycomb is. Uh, probably up, right? The one direction you haven't gone is just... <laughs> sort of bless you. That was aggressive. <sighs> Very loud so are you moving the camera now, or is the camera moving the automatically? automatically moving itself. Uh, I can see how that could get kind of annoying later. Oh, hey, look! It looks like the entrance to the, the boss for Legend of Zelda. 
With the the Dodongo oh, yeah. Cavern. Yeah. It's got that kind of look to it. So you just beat the boss right here, and then that's just the end of the game. That's it. That's Twenty the minute game. game. It's a very good game. It's better than most Flash games that come out now. Boom, boom. Oh, there there's your is. honeycomb. Where is oh, it? Oh, it's at the top of the tree. You went to the top of the tree. Oh, just not that tree. Yeah. You're supposed to go to the top of all the trees. That's really stupid. Yeah. There you go. Yay! So that what happens? Now I get another eye. Oh, yeah. that's handy dandy. Kill the turnip. Thank you. How much, uh, what are we at? What are we at what? I didn't start a timer. timer. I, I figured we'd just get through this tutorial nonsense and then call it an episode yeah, okay. just because I didn't want to have a tutorial in more than one episode. I guess you. We'll get to Mumbo's Mountain then. Yeah, let, let's just get to the first level and then call it because I, I don't want to... A tutorial should not take two episodes. <laughs> oh, lordy. Mm -hmm. Well, and at one point we hit start and then you went to the bathroom, so like our timer's all messed up anyways. Yeah, that's true. What's up? It's just, Ian's just sending us pictures of baboons' asses. Oh, of course he is. <laughs> he's just, he's specifically finding those. Oh, excellent. Oh, lordy. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll call it after this and tell you when you get control back. So she got 2D. That's... Yeah. So what does she need 2D for? Is she going to explain it in uh, some monomaniacal... What the fuck is that? That's, that's, uh... Kronka? Krunka? I, I can't remember his name. Are they gonna like extract her spine and put it in the witch so she can stand upright? Uh, yeah. No, um, she's gonna harvest her youth and beauty. And if you save the game and quit while you're in the tower, or I think in general actually, uh, she fires up the machine. Who does? Grunty. Really? Yeah, so she comes out looking all hot and green and sexy, and then... And then you just play the rest of the game with her being hot and green and sexy. <laughs> no, I think it's just there to tease you for leaving. Oh, that's funny. Okay. So there's the... Can't... Okay. Mm -hmm. That's a Jiggy! What's a Jiggy? It's the thing that we're going to become obsessed with. Mr. Jiggy. Oh, like a jigsaw puzzle. Yeah. Ah, uh, clever. So the whole thing is the way you unlock levels is you find portraits with missing puzzle pieces in them. Hmm, almost like Super Mario 64. Uh -huh, I mean, was, yeah, okay. And, um, you fill them in with the amount of puzzle pieces you find. Oh, uh, so, some bitch, look at that. Hmm. Looks like they got inspired by someone else. <laughs> yeah. Got a lot of critical Carl over here. I'm just saying, if you just keep looking at it with rose-colored glasses, you might not see the shit underneath. I... Hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a bold statement, sir. I know this is your childhood, but uh... this is this is a fucking great game, Mike. Oh my god. <laughs> There's, you're trying to tell me this is better than Kirby and the Crystal Shards? Nothing will ever be better than Kirby and the Crystal Shards. That game was a masterpiece. That game we, was a nightmare. We 100%ed it because it was perfect. Not you think you could 100% this game? Uh, it'd be hard, but I bet I could do it. I think the thing I was reading said... No, God damn it! <laughs> I think the thing I was reading said it would take like 40 to 50 hours to complete. Is that really? That's what it said. 100%, huh? I guess. Speed run, go. Oh god. Alright, uh, do you want to call it here? We'll, we'll kill that. Fuck off. Hey, you did the move you said you would never do. Shut up. <laughs> okay. What is that? That's a Jinjo. We save them because we like them. There's five on every world, and then if you collect them all, you get a puzzle piece. Oh. Alright. Anyhow, uh, okay, we'll pick this up in the next one. Okay, bye everybody! Bye! Is there a way to hit pause?